Okay, so first of all, I'm going to do this using a bubble chart. And these numbers here will be the size of the bubbles, but then I also need numbers for the X and Y values, as I want for these bubbles to be arranged in a two by two grid. So I am going to make the Y values for these ones here be two, as I want them to be on the top. And then for these ones here, I am going to give them a Y value of one, as I want for them to be on the bottom. Then for the X value, so it's going to go left, right, left, right. Then select a blank cell and go to insert and insert a bubble chart. Then right click and select data and add in a series. The series name will be this value here. And then the X and the Y values will be the numbers that we just put in. And the bubble size will be these numbers here. And OK. And OK again. And now we have four bubbles arranged in a two by two grid. Next, I'm going to take these two columns here and make the width smaller until they are 134 pixels. Then I'm going to take these two rows here and make the height larger until this is also 134 pixels. And now these four cells here are perfect squares and I will just highlight those and give them a border to make them easier to see. Now go to insert and illustrations and shapes and select the rectangle and click and drag to draw a rectangle. Then go to align and snap to grid. And this will force the sides of the shape to line up with the grid lines underneath. Then press control D to duplicate this square and put it in the top left hand corner. Then select the larger square and change the shape outline to no outline and the shape fill to no fill. Then remove the outline from the smaller square and change the shape fill to a dark green. Then hold down control to select the invisible square as well and press control C to copy. Then select the bubbles and press control V to paste. And now we have quarter slices here. And we need to do this three more times in order to fill in the whole of the circle. So I will right click and select data and then add in new series. So this one here will have the same X and Y values. But the bubble size will be these numbers here and OK. And I will do that for the other two as well. and OK, and OK again. And then we'll move this square here to the side and change the fill to be a light green. Hold down Control to select the invisible square underneath and Control C to copy and then select the bubbles. At the moment we have the top series selected but we want to select the second one. So hold down Shift and press Tab twice in order to select the second series and then press Control V to paste. Then we'll move the shape again and change it to be a dark orange. Hold down Control to select the other square, Control C to copy and then this time we only need to press Shift and Tab once in order to select the correct series and then press Control V to paste. Then move the square to the side and change the fill to a light orange. Hold down control to select the other square. Control C to copy and now we can just select the series that is on the top and control V to paste. And now we have all four of the quarters. I will delete the grid lines and select the bubbles and press Control 1 to open up the formatting bar 
then increase the size of the bubbles by scaling them to 250%. Then I want to remove the gaps at the top, the bottom and the sides, so I will change the axes minimum to be 0 0.5 and the axes maximum to be 2.5 and I'll do that for the other axes as well. Now we want to add in numbers in the middle of each of these circles. So I will create a new column called labels and then use the concant formula to combine the four numbers together. So we'll select this number here first and then add in a space and then this number. And then we will use the keyboard shortcut Alt Enter to insert a line break. And then this number here and then another space and then the final number and enter and we'll drag this down then select any one of the series and add in data labels then select the data labels and change it to showing value from cells and select these cells here and OK and then remove the Y value and I will change the text fill to be black and now we have numbers for each of the quarters but they don't exactly line up so I'm just going to add in some more spaces here to try and adjust the position of the numbers a little bit. Then the next step is to add in titles for each of the circles and in order to do this we can use the same x values but we need different y values. For the time being I'll just copy the y values that we already have and then we can adjust those in a second. Then we also need to give these a size so I will make them all 1. Then select the chart and right click and select data and we'll add in a new series. This will be the name here, the x values will be the same x values that we used for everything else, the y values will be these ones here and then the size will be all of these ones and OK and OK again. And now we have four blue bubbles and I want to shift these all upwards by changing the y values. So I'll make this 1.35 and this 1.35 as well. I'll make this 2.35 and this 2.35 as well. Then we'll select the bubbles and add in data labels. And we'll change these again to be value from cells. And this time it will be these cells here and OK. Then remove the Y values. I'll press Control B to make the text bold and change it so that the text is black. Then we'll use the drop down list to select the actual series and then change the fill to no fill to get rid of the blue bubbles. Then the next step is to label each of the quarters and I'm only going to bother doing this for the first circle. So we'll right click and select data and add in another series. I'll call this sections, the x values all need to be the number 1. So I will select these numbers here. The y values all need to be the number 2 but this time I'll just type in 2 4 times. Then the bubble size needs to be all 1s again and OK and OK again. And now we've got a green circle in the middle. I'll use the drop down list to select this and then we'll add in data labels. Then I'll use the drop down list again to select the data labels and we will change them to be value from cells and I will select these cells up here and OK. Then remove the Y values and remove the leader lines and then I will just move these by hand and I will switch off the snap to grid now. 
Now I want all of these labels to be split across two lines. So I will change the text up here and delete the space and then use Alt Enter to add in a new line. And I'll do this for all of the other ones as well. And then this will feed through into the data labels. Now I'll press Control B to make this bold and I will change the color of each of these individually so they match the quarters that they are assigned to. And then we'll reposition these. Now I need to use the drop down list to select the sections series and remove the fill to get rid of the green bubble. Then I'll delete the axes and also change the chart border to no line. Then we'll change the size of this chart so that it's an actual square. And then as a bonus tip, you can also change these shapes so that they are squares. Go to insert and illustrations and shapes and select the oval. Then hold down shift while drawing this to make it into a circle and we'll remove the shape fill and then we need to line the circle up with the square underneath. Okay, and then remove the shape outline from this circle. Hold down control and select the smaller square as well. Control C to copy, then select the bubbles and control V to paste. And this changes them into squares. And you would need to do that three more times. Okay, so in this video, I have shown you how to make a proportional area chart in Excel. And that is everything.